Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sambhav Shah, Consultant Spine Surgeon at SRCC Children's Hospital at Haji Ali. And today we'll be discussing on a very important topic which affects the pediatric spine, which is known as scoliosis. So scoliosis is an abnormal curvature in the spine. So majority of the spines are straight. Patients are born when the spine is straight. However, with aging or because of some birth defect, the spines they start, they start curving. And this curvature of the spine in the frontal plane is called as scoliosis. Scoliosis are of various types. One being congenital scoliosis, which is basically that there is a anatomical defect in the bone of the spine because of which the spine starts curving. This scoliosis or this curvature is generally picked up at an earlier stage, usually before the age of five years. And we do see parents coming to us at a much earlier stage because the deformities are something which are not missed that easily because the parents themselves are uh, taking care of the child on a day-to-day -day basis with regards to bathing the child, changing their clothes, etc. So generally these deformities are noticed much earlier and the appropriate, appropriate treatment is given at the right time. The next is something known as adolescent idiopathic scoliosis and this is what I want to focus majorly on. Now adolescent idiopathic scoliosis means that the scoliosis deformity starts at a later stage in life, usually after the age of 8 to 9 years, primarily being between 10 to 13 years. Idiopathic because we as such don't know the exact cause of why the spine starts curving after this age group. However, there are some genetic factors which are being started into. The most common are girls within the age group of 9 to 13 who are more affected by the scoliosis than boys. And the major issue regarding this scoliosis is that they are not picked up soon enough. And then that changes the whole treatment protocol. One of the reasons for this is that children are almost independent by that age. They are changing themselves, they are bathing themselves. So sometimes subtle deformities are not noticed and not picked up. And only when the spine curvature becomes bigger or hits more than 30, 40 degrees, that's when the, the child or the parent starts noticing that there is something wrong with the spine. And then by the time they come to us, the, the curve is more than 50 degrees. Now the importance of this is, is that the treatment is based on the, the degree of the curvature, the type of curvature and the age at which the child presents to us. So for an example, if we have caught the child at the age of 9 with a 20 degree curvature, that child may not require any kind of surgery and just by simple bracing and observation, we may try and control the, the increase in the curvature with time and hopefully avoid surgery in these patients. However, if the same child comes to us with a curvature of 40, 50 degrees at the age of 9, 10, then or even at the age of 12, then these are the children who would typically require some form of deformity correction as they start developing shoulder imbalance and various other issues. I would like to give you some tips so that you yourself can screen your child at home and keep an observation and if you feel that there are any differences in, in what you see in your child's right side or left side, then definitely you can try and come to us for further management. So one thing is, is the uneven shoulders. So if you realize that the child's shoulder, one shoulder is up and one shoulder is down, then there is a chance that this child may develop or could be having scoliosis. Uh, if you can observe a child's back without his t-shirt, uh, say once in six months or once in a year, or especially when the child's height suddenly uh, shoots up, then you also have some idea whether he's developing a scoliosis. So one is that when the child is standing straight, if there is an abnormality in the space between his hands and his chest, so if I'm sitting here and if on one side the space is say, one centimeter but on the other side the space is more while in a standing position, then there is a chance that there is a curvature. If you see a child and when you feel that the child's hip is uneven, 
that means the child is standing like this from the back but his one hip is, is like this on one side and the other hip is, is going down then that itself uh, shows that there could be a, a, a scoliosis in your child's back another easy way to to find out whether the child has developed scoliosis is basically you make your child bend forward and you stand on the back of the child and you may tell the child as if he's going to you know jump into a swimming pool dive into a swimming pool with both his arms ahead and see the child from the back and if you normally you will see a, a, a hump like this but if you see an abnormal hump that means let's say the right side is like this and the left side is, is lower then this itself denotes that there could be a possibility of a scoliosis in a child So one thing is screening your children. So even if you don't see these things, if you get them to us, we screen the child. And if we find any of these abnormalities in the child, then obviously we will request you for an X-ray. And the X-ray 100% confirms if your child has a scoliosis or it doesn't have. But majority of them don't require an X-ray to be to to at least know whether there could be a chance of scoliosis. Just simple screening tests and we can pick it up. So ideally between the age of 9 to 13, you should get your children regularly screened to know if there is any scoliosis because if these children are picked up at the earlier stage and if the right treatment is provided to them at the earlier stage, then there is a good chance that your child may not require surgery or any kind of other interventions to correct this situation. Majority what we see in India is that the child is brought to us at a much later stage once his curve has increased 40 or 50 degrees and then the only option left to us is to operate such patients. So just by simple screening, regular watch and observation, I think we can save a lot for these, uh, for these children. So I urge one and all of you to look at your kids on a regular basis, just observe for any subtle deformities. And if you feel that your child may have some deformity, don't be scared, don't be wary of attending a doctor so that you have to hear the worst. But if these children are brought earlier, then we can save a lot. Thank you very much.